Well, DA Mulroy also released videos from three previous deadly shootings involving Memphis police officers or Shelby County deputies. Richard Ransom is here to break deep down the details from each case. Richard. Well, Pepper, as you said, DA, DA Mulroy had already let it be known he wasn't going to file charges in any of the cases we're about to show you. And while we've edited out the most graphic parts of each one, we felt it was important to show you some of what happened in each incident. And the video may be disturbing. Here's the first one. A shooting uh, takes us back to June 3rd of last year. The TBI says that morning, 45-year-old Corey Brewer shot and killed a 44-year-old woman outside the Amazon warehouse in Horn Lake, Mississippi. An alert was issued to be on the lookout for Brewer, and later that afternoon, Memphis police pulled him over for a traffic stop at this point at I-40 in Witten. The video, which we see from several angles, shows Memphis police surrounding Brewer's vehicle. That's when the TBI says Brewer shot his weapon first, and officers returned fire, killing him. We're told the female victim had a restraining order against Brewer because he had been stalking her. Now to the second video, this time from March 18th of this year, when 44-year-old Melissa Horton was shot and killed by a Shelby County deputy in Bartlett. Prosecutors say earlier that same day, she had tried to shoot her fiancé in Fayette County. In this case, deputies spotted Horton's vehicle later that afternoon across from Galilee Memorial Gardens in Bartlett. They demanded she get out of her car, but the TBI says Horton grabbed a shotgun and pointed did it at one of the deputies and that's when the officer fired through the vehicle's window and killed Horton. And finally comes this video from December 9th of last year. The TBI says Memphis police spotted a car used in an ATM robbery and carjacking in southwest Memphis earlier that same day. There were three suspects in the car, including 40-year-old Latoris Taylor. And when police approached, all three took off running. The TBI says Taylor fired shots at an officer who, as you see there, returned fire and killed Taylor. So, Pepper, of these three videos that were dropped today, in all three cases, prosecutors determined that officers were justified in using deadly force. It's also worth mentioning that two of them involved domestic incidents, which police say have long been the most potentially dangerous cases that they respond to. Back to you. Lots of information there, Richard. Thank you.